Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make the crochet cluster. And so this is what the stitch pattern looks like. You have all these little clusters right next to each other. And so I'm going to be showing you how to make the double crochet version, but there's also a single crochet version as well as a treble version. So you have a couple different options you can choose from if you like making this stitch. And so yeah, it's a very pretty stitch and it works great for many different projects. The full stitch pattern can be found on my blog, so just click that link in the description box below. So for this tutorial, you're of course going to need some yarn. I'm just using Lion Brand Woolies yarn, and I'm also going to be using a 6.0 millimeter crochet hook. All right, let's get started. To start off with our stitch pattern, you want to chain an even amount. So for the purpose of this tutorial, I went ahead and chained 16 chains. Okay, and once you've made 16 chains, you want to single crochet in the second chain from the hook. So one, two. To make a single crochet, you want to insert your hook, yarn over and pull through, yarn over one more time and pull through the last two loops. And that's how you make a single crochet. Now you want to make a single crochet in the next chain And then you want to chain one, skip the next chain, and single crochet in the following chain. Okay, so you should have something that looks like this now. And this part where the chain one and single crochet, that's also when our repeat is going to start. Okay, so for the following stitches till the end of the row, till your last stitch, you want to chain one skip the next chain and single crochet in the following chain. Okay, so chain one, skip the next chain and single crochet in the following chain. Okay, continue to repeat this till your last stitch. Okay, so chain one, skip the next chain and single crochet in the following chain. Chain one, skip the next chain and single crochet in the following one. Chain one, and skip the next chain and single crochet in the following chain. Okay, so now we're here at our last stitch. Okay, and all you want to simply do is just single crochet in that last stitch. Okay, so your row one is going to look like this. All right, let's get started with row two. Okay, for row two, you want to chain four, one, two, three and four. Then we want to flip our work over and now we're going to skip our first two stitches. So one, two, and we're going to make our cluster stitch in the chain space. Okay, so it's the space right here. So to make a cluster stitch, you want to yarn over, insert your hook into that cluster stitch, yarn over and pull through. And you kind of want to pull it a little up like this so it matches. Okay, and then you want to yarn over one more time and pull through those first two loops. Okay, so essentially you're making an unfinished half double crochet. So now you want to yarn over again, insert your hook back into that chain space and yarn over and pull through and then pull through the next two loops. Okay, you should have three loops on your hook. All right, then you want to yarn over again, insert your hook into that same chain space, yarn over and pull through, okay, and then pull again through those two loops. All right, you should have four loops on your hook now, one, two, three, four. Now you want to yarn over last time, insert your hook into that same chain space, yarn over and pull through, and then yarn over and pull through those last two loops, okay? So now you should have five loops on your hook. One, two, three, four, five. Now you want to yarn over and pull through all five loops on your hook. Okay, so that's a cluster stitch. And now all you want to do is just chain one to close your cluster stitch. So it should look like this. Okay. All right. So now once we've done that, all we want to do is continue making cluster stitches in all the chain spaces until our end, okay? Because in our last stitch, that's when we're gonna make a double crochet. So let's do it again. We're gonna skip 
our next stitch and here's our chain space. Now we want to yarn over, insert our hook into the chain space and pull through, okay? Should have three loops on your hook and then go ahead and pull through those first two loops. All right, so now you have two loops on your hook. Yarn over, insert back into that chain space, pull through, and then yarn over, pull through the next two loops. You're gonna have three loops on your hook. Yarn over again, insert your hook into that chain space, yarn over and pull through. Yarn over and pull through the next two loops. Four loops on our hook. And yarn over, insert your hook into that chain space, yarn over, pull through, yarn over one more time, and pull through the next two loops. Okay, so now you should have five loops on your hook. So yarn over one more time and pull through those five two loops. And then all you want to do is chain one to close the cluster stitch. Okay, so it should look like this. All right, so now we skip our next stitch and let's make a cluster stitch again. Yarn over, insert your hook, yarn over, pull through, pull through the first two loops, yarn over, insert your hook, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through those two loops, yarn over, insert our hook, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through the first two loops, you set four loops on your hook, yarn over, insert your hook, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, and the last two loops. Okay, so now you have five loops on your hook. Yarn over and pull through all five loops and then chain one to close our cluster stitch. Okay, and this is essentially what you're doing for row two. All right, so let's continue making some of these cluster stitches. I gotta get some more yarn here because these cluster stitches take up a lot of yarn. So, okay. All right. So skip our next stitch and go ahead and make another cluster stitch. Okay, so continue to make those cluster stitches. Skip your stitch. All right, so here I am, okay? And now we're towards the end here. And so now you're gonna see your two crochet stitches. So you're gonna skip that first single crochet stitch and you're gonna make a double crochet in the last stitch. Okay, so it's a single crochet from the previous row. All right, so your row two should look like this. Okay, and this completes row two. So now let's get started with row three. Okay, so for row three, you want to chain one, turn your work, okay? And you want to make one single crochet in this first stitch right here. And then you wanna make another single crochet in this big space. Okay, so it should look like this. All right, and then in between the clusters, and you're going to do this for the till the end of the row. You're going to make one single crochet, chain, and another single crochet. Okay, so insert your hook and make a single crochet, chain one, and single crochet. Okay, so it should look like this. All right, so here we are again in between the clusters. It's okay if you kind of have to push them apart like that. Insert your hook and make a single crochet, chain one, and single crochet. All right, continue to do this till the end of the row. Okay, so insert your hook, single crochet, chain one, and single crochet. All right, and 
insert your hook, single crochet, chain one and single crochet, insert your hook, single crochet, chain one and single crochet. Okay, so now we're here, we're towards the end of our cluster stitches and now you just want to chain one and make one single crochet after your cluster stitch. So like right here. And then you wanna make one more single crochet in that third chain, okay? So it's gonna be the row, the turning chain from the previous row. So one, two, three. Okay, and that completes row three. Okay, and so the pattern becomes very easy after this because all you're doing is repeating rows two and three. That's it. So your next row will be row two and that's when you're going to make your cluster stitches again. So I really hope you enjoyed this fun little quick stitch tutorial. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you like it. Don't forget to subscribe and thanks so much for watching.